my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be letting YouTubers choose what I eat for the next 24 hours. couple of days I have been messaging a bunch of YouTubers asking them for food recommendations and what I can eat so I've got a bunch of snacks and then of course I've got breakfast lunch and dinner I have done a couple of these videos before where I've got YouTubers to choose kind of what I eat I've done one specifically for McDonald's I've done one for Starbucks but I wanted to do one more in general so they could kind of choose any takeaway or any restaurant in Manchester and I've got some really really good recommendations for you guys and I've just got some really cool things in general the current time is 8 30 in the morning and you're going to find out why I'm having to start 8 30 in the morning in a second but i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started so i went a bit overboard and i asked a lot of youtubers so i've got several youtubers picking each meal if that makes sense i got a lot of options for breakfast so i'm going to be doing breakfast this morning and i'm also going to be doing breakfast tomorrow morning so for breakfast this morning first up we have got chi with a c and i absolutely love this girl she is so so funny and uh, she has given me probably the weirdest breakfast order i'm ever gonna have i messaged her saying please can you choose for breakfast and she put of course get spaghetti and if you can't order it for breakfast buy it from co-op on uber eats so for one of my breakfasts this morning i am going to be having some spaghetti so i went out last night i bought some spaghetti from sainsbury's and i'm going to have to cook it for my breakfast i then also messaged kira bridget and i actually said to her please can you choose me a dessert however she said to me okay swag crispy cream but specifically at 9 a.m like the video at 9 a.m even though i asked her to choose me a dessert she's given me it at a breakfast time so i am basically just taking it as though i've got to have it for breakfast first so i need to go on krispy kreme and i need to order myself a tray of krispy kreme i'm doing it 12 i don't know she never actually specifically said what donut she wants me to get and i actually do prefer the glazed dozen so i'm just gonna get myself a glazed dozen the original glazed dozen that's all i want i've never in my life ordered krispy kremes this early it's gonna take 15 to 20 minutes to arrive which means i should have them in time for 9 a.m they are all ordered and i will see you guys when my donuts have arrived i have actually just realized i picked up the free from spaghetti which i've never actually tried before so um first time for everything question do people break up their spaghetti or do they put them in whole i always snap mine in half i know some people do it differently i haven't had actual spaghetti in so long i normally just have pasta shapes and i definitely haven't had spaghetti this early in the morning before i'm back with the weirdest breakfast ever i have got my bowl of pasta and i have got my 12 krispy cream donuts the current time just in time it is 8 58 so i'm gonna have my pasta and then eat the donuts dead on 9 a.m can't say i do like plain pasta i do normally like a bit of cheese but i wasn't told i was allowed cheese so i can't have it very nothingy. Just tastes of like absolute nothing. Probably the weirdest breakfast and probably the worst breakfast I've ever had to be honest. It's just not very nice. If I had cheese on it or some nice tomato sauce, I know it's like breakfast but I could cope but not plain pasta. Thank you, Chi, for uh, making my breakfast very interesting this morning. And my donuts. I can obviously save these after I'm not about to eat 12 donuts. I'm just going to have one. I'm not going to lie, this isn't really out of the ordinary. I definitely, like, have had a donut at 9 a.m. before. Krispy Kreme, these are my favourite. I used to hate original glaze with the passion. And now, to be honest, don't really like any others. I just like these ones. Mm very different to the pasta god it's very sickly this is a very interesting breakfast it's not very filling like at all though normally i would either have like a bacon roll for breakfast or i would have pancakes or an acai bowl not spaghetti and a donut but it's interesting what did i expect i mean i let chi and kira choose my breakfast like it was gonna be something weird it is snack time it is currently 10 41 so i am gonna order a snack that miss flossy clegg has chosen for me i messaged flossy saying please can you choose me a snack and she put do you have prep if so get the posh cheddar and pickle baguette my go-to hangover food and i've been having it a lot recently so i have just gone on to pret here and they do have it it's the posh cheddar and pickle baguette and it says it's mature cheddar with chunky pret pickle roasted tomatoes sliced red onion free range mayo and mustard cress i'm not gonna lie when i opened her message i was like okay i'm not gonna like that that sounds absolutely vile however it actually looks quite good and i'm looking at pictures of it i love pickle i love onion i love cheese i love tomato so this actually might surprise me and i might actually really like it right let's get this ordered add to basket she didn't say anything about a drink or anything so i'm just getting the baguette i'm back i have now got my prep bag and i've literally just got one baguette in here but not gonna lie it actually smells really good i wasn't expecting it to smell like this like i said i really thought it was going to be the vilest thing however flossy might have given me a new lease alive here and i might actually start getting this the onions in it look so good is it branston pickle in these i don't know but look at that look at all the onions in it i'm not gonna lie i do want an onion right now mm, it's a really good onion taste test time 
That's unreal. Oh my god, the pickle, that Branson pickle is unreal. Okay, I was not expecting this. This literally tastes like an entire cheese board in a sandwich. Wow, I'm actually in shock. I don't know what to do. That is so good. And you're supposed to flossy and be like, flossy, oh, what the hell? This is probably one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in my life. And that is rare because I'm really not a sandwich person. But this is like 10 out of 10. This is a game changer. I love onion with an actual passion. It's so bad. 10 out of 10, flossy. Smash this one. It is lunchtime and I have got another two people who are choosing me lunch. Up first, we have got Jack Ben Edwards. I love Jack so much. He is actually the sweetest person to ever walk this planet. And I said to him, please would you be able to choose me some food? And he chose me the place called Oodles Chinese in Manchester. And he said, get some Chinese food. He said, I can choose whatever I want and get some fortune cookies. So I've just gone on to here and I have made this little small create your own box with egg fried rice, plain chips, sweet and sour chicken and crispy chicken. $7.50. That's really good. I don't, I've never tried this place before. I'm really excited to try it actually. And then I've also got a pack of five fortune cookies. It's going to be so fun because I love fortune cookies and Freya and Callum are currently in the office so we can all have a fortune cookie each. And then I also texted Mark Ferris. I again adore Mark Ferris and he also wanted me to get Chinese so I thought I'd pair these together. And Mark said to me that he wanted me to get spring rolls and curry sauce. I can't actually find any curry sauce on this Chinese so I'm just going to have to get the vegetable spring rolls but very excited to try these. So thank you Jack and thank you Mark for choosing me my lunch. I'm going to get this ordered and then we can give it a try. Not gonna lie, I'm most excited for the fortune cookies. They are so much fun. I haven't had one in so long. My lunch has arrived and this smells amazing. This really reminds me of Panda Express. It's an American like food chain brand. I don't know if you guys have ever had it. And it's so good. And they do this like orange chicken. And I always got it with like broccoli. And this is exactly what it reminds me of. For $7.50, all in this little box. This is so good. It smells exactly like Panda Express as well. And then I've also got here some vegetable spring rolls. And then I've got this little pot of sauce. And we have got fortune cookies here, which I'm going to have after. So let's try some of this Chinese food. I feel like I'm going to end up having this all the time. I don't know why I've never tried it before because it's always at the top of like my Uber Eats as well, like unrecommended. Just never got around to trying it. Mmm, the chips are nice. It's done in like layers. So it's like a layer of chips on the top. And then underneath, I've got egg fried rice in here. And then two different types of chicken. This tastes just like Panda Express. So this is so weird. And then, I don't know where the other chicken is. Oh, is this it? Oh, this is it. So here we go. Now I've got sweet and sour chicken. So that was the dried chicken i think it was called and this is a sweet and sour chicken it's very very hot really good though. vegetable spring roll time this is one of the nicest chineses i've ever had i'm gonna get this all the time now seven pound fifty for that small box and i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't even be able to finish that small box but you could still get like a medium and a large mm. mark and jack you picked a banging lunch here this is so good today ASMR. It is time for a fortune cookie. What fortune cookie is everyone going to have? Some it's drawing me to this one. I think it's because it's the only one in the silver packaging. So which one do you want? I love them. Here we go. I love fortune cookies. Do you guys eat them? No, yeah. not really. Oh, I never eat them. I just like I fortune know. and fries. I think it's quite nice. Mm. I've never tried one. I'll try it. Here we go. A fresh start will put you on your way. Calm attitude will disarm your enemy. Of course you're eating it first. It's Among the lucky, you are the chosen one. <gasps> oh. Does that mean I'm they're quite potentially. Well, I'm quite happy with those fortunes, everyone. So I'm now going to sit and I'm going to eat my lunch. This is generally one of the nicest Chinese I've ever had. So shout out Jack, shout out Mark. You guys have picked me a beautiful lunch. Um, I'm now going to sit and eat this while doing some work. I have actually not moved. It is currently two minutes past one and I am going to order myself some snacks again. I'm basically having to order loads of food because I just over asked YouTubers. I have too many orders that they want me to get so I need to order it really frequently. Next up we are going for Starbucks and obviously I had to ask Olivia Neal. She loves Starbucks. She loves coffee. Olivia wants me to get an iced chai latte and a peach green tea lemonade. So iced chai latte here. I'm gonna get a tall one and a basket and then we want a peach green tea. And then next up we have also got Talia Ma and Talia actually chose me a Mexican place. So I'm gonna go for Taco Bell because I like it's the easiest Mexican to get. I was so happy when she texted me asking me to get Mexican because Mexican is honestly my favorite food. Taco Bell has an, a very, very, very special place in my heart. She said to me to get any nachos or any tacos. So I'm just gonna get, I just need to get some separate tacos. Oh, here we go actually. Nachos Bel Grande. A large portion of seasoned nachos topped with extra warm nacho cheese sauce, black beans, seasoned beef, diced tomatoes, and cool sour cream. Add to basket. And then I need to get some tacos so I'm gonna get 
a crunchy taco, no remain with seasoned beef, add to basket. And then I'm also gonna get a soft taco as well. I'm gonna get the soft taco supreme. I've never actually tried a soft taco before from Taco Bell, so this is gonna be a first. Very excited for those snacks. I am gonna order them and then I will give them a try for you all. It is time for more food. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really not that hungry anymore. And I'm gonna leave it like a good few hours because the next place we're going to after this is we're actually going to a restaurant. I think the restaurant is the most exciting thing for the video because I've never actually been before and I'm excited for you guys to see who chose it and what they've chosen for us to eat. But in the meantime, I have got two Starbucks drinks here and I have got my Taco Bell order. So Olivia Neal has chosen me here. I got the iced chai tea latte and then I have got the peach iced tea, but like peach iced green tea. I don't really know what it is. And then inside this big bag here i have got one taco i've got a big box of nachos and then i've got another taco i love taco bell i have a really really bad taco bell addiction actually so taco bell i saw your tweet the other day about looking for like a uk ambassador hi here are my nachos that talia has chosen for me and then i've also got my tacos here like i was saying i've never actually tried a soft shell taco before this is the normal like the crunchy shell but i've never tried a soft shell one i don't think i have anyway like soft shell wouldn't be my first choice i do love the crunch of like the crunch taco you know here it is in here oh it looks good it basically just looks like a wrap very soft here it is i'm gonna give this one a try at first i think i don't really know where to where to go Oh my god. Mmm, wow. That's so much nicer than I thought it was gonna be. It just tastes like a normal wrap. That's, well, that's basically what it is, to be honest. Oh, I feel like I could definitely get these every time I order Taco Bell now. Oh my god, that's so messy. That's unbelievable. That's the soft shell supreme one. So that's got like the nacho cheese sauce in it, which is the best thing from Taco Bell. In between, I'm gonna try one of these Starbucks drinks. So let's try the iced chai latte first. They didn't actually give me any straws. I'm just gonna have to sip it out of the cup. Here we go. Oh gosh, smells very like ginger ready. Stop drinking a Yankee candle again. Mm-mm. Oh, absolutely not for me. Oh my god. It's like gingerbread -y and it tastes almost like drinking a gingerbread man. But at the same time, it also tastes like you're drinking a Yankee candle. So I can't decide if I like it or not. Very in between about that. I feel like a lot of Starbucks drinks remind me of like Yankee candles. Obviously not that I've drank a candle, but you know when the smell is so strong that you can almost like taste it. That's what that drink tastes like to me. Love a nice vanilla latte though, but just not sure on the chai in that. Let's try some of these nachos. These are the nachos del grande, I think. And it's got like nacho cheese sauce on it it's got tomatoes on it black beans beef love myself some nachos i always get them ever i go mm. it's the first time i'm trying taco bell nachos they're good they're really good actually oh my god they're really nice with it oh, the nacho cheese sauce i wish they sold it in bottles like if they sold it in bottles it would be so good their tomatoes with the nacho cheese sauce is actually an elite combo from taco bell next up i'm gonna have my peach iced tea now i've actually had one of these before and i do like it but mm, it tastes very apricotty today it tastes very like a fruit you know like the apricot like fruit things mm, i like this very refreshing like very very summery it's different to what i usually go for because i would normally get like an iced vanilla latte if i want like energy or i would normally get a frappuccino so it's really weird having like a super fresh drink i always find it so interesting what like different people get at starbucks because it's always so different to what i normally get that's so much nicer though like when i have a frappuccino i feel a bit like oh it's very like sugary it's like very filling whereas that i feel like that gives you energy and it just like brightens you up a bit more do you know what i mean and then i have got my crunchy taco here i know i love these crunchy tacos are beautiful the only thing is i wish it came with tomatoes it doesn't have tomatoes on Actually, I mean, not as good as the soft shell. I definitely prefer the soft shell taco now. Thank you so much to Olivia and thank you so much to Talia for choosing me this snack. Next up, we have got dinner. I am waiting a couple of hours because I've had a lot of food today and I'm not that hungry. But next up, we're going to be heading out to a restaurant. We have just got back from Toast Ninja. We are sweaty messes, but we are about to head out to Foodwell. And Molly May actually picked this restaurant for me. I said to her, please would you be able to tell me a restaurant? And she actually told me two. She told me one for a Sunday roast, which I'll pop on screen, but today's not a Sunday, so I thought like, we can't really do that. And then the other one she told me was food well and she's told me an item to get at food well as well very excited i've never even heard of it before i haven't so we're gonna go now and i'll see you guys when we get there <laughs> see ya bye <laughs> This is the popcorn halloumi. This is what Molly told us to order and it looks as though it's been drizzled in honey. So I'm gonna give it a try. Thank you Molly, this is banging for 
Oh, we did get other things as well. I also ordered some sushi. So I'll show you that once I've got it. But this, oh. this is so good. I've never thought of and halloumi and honey before. Oh my god, it's exactly like horse honey. Isn't it? Oh my god, I'm gonna put with my sushi. That's well nice. That is ginger. Oh, that's That's really spicy, that one. Take that back, I hate it. How am I going to get my mouth open? It is snack time and I have got the weirdest, weirdest meal in front of me. I've actually already ordered it and it's all in front of me because he actually sent me a video of what he wanted me to order. So, roll the clip. Alrighty, so you need some dinner, huh? Well, I know... You like McDonald's. I know you like McDonald's. So I've got a little treat for you. I'm not going to do you too dirty, right? We can get you a nice McDonald's. But there are some things you've got to do in this McDonald's. First off, you need to have a double cheeseburger. But obviously when you go and order your double cheeseburger, I want you to make sure there's no bun. I want you to just have two beef patties. You know what? Let's make it dry. Remove the ketchup, remove the mustard. So you get cheese, you get onion, and you get pickles and two beef patties. That's it, all right? No cheating, no bun. Next up, get yourself some fries. No, not a meal, but get yourself some fries. Uh, a large fries would do, I think. But you get no sauce, so no tomato ketchup, no barbecue or anything like that. What you're going to do is you're going to order a milkshake, any flavour of your choice, and that is your dip. And I want to see you get those fries and dip that in the milkshake. No cheating, all right? You can't just have these dry, normal fries. You need milkshakey fries. And as a push in a boat out, you might as well get yourself like a cucumber bag or something. This ain't healthy, you know. If they've not got cucumbers where you live, then just get an apple and grapefruit bag instead, you know. You might as well carry on pushing a boat out. <laughs> Let's just get some more. Get yourself six chicken nuggets. Yeah, nice little treat. Six nuggets. Nah, you ain't getting six nuggets. You ain't getting six nuggets. That's also what you can do, right? Order yourself a hamburger, but no beef patty. And what you're going to do is you get those nuggets and put the nuggets in the burger. So you're going to have a McNugget burger. I think that's quite nice. That'd be quite a nice little meal, I think. A McNugget burger. You've got your little cucumber bag. You've got your fries with the milkshake. And then you've got your double cheeseburger without the bun. That's a solid dinner, I'd say. Enjoy. As you can see, Josh from the Sidemen chose me a very, very, very weird McDonald's order. And I've got it in front of me now. Yeah, this is the weirdest McDonald's order I'm probably ever going to have. They gave me my double cheeseburger on one of the little pancake tray things. And this is it. It's just two patties with like cheese smudged everywhere and like this tiniest little bit of onion. I have then got my plain burger, nothing in it, just the bun. And I'm going to make a chicken nugget burger. And then I've got my chips. And I've also got myself a chocolate milkshake. He said I could choose what milkshake I wanted to dip my chips in. First of all, let's give this burger a try to be honest this actually looks so good look at all the cheese on it i love mcdonald's cheese as well and this has got like onion underneath the cheese mm, that is beautiful the cheese is unreal that was a good choice josh weird choice but i'd actually get that again i also forgot i've just seen it in the bag i've also got some crunchy and cool cucumber never had cucumber slices from mcdonald's before, but there's a first for everything here we go it is time to make a chicken nuggets burger so i don't think they're all gonna fit in here but i'll fit as many as i can i can get three in here that's on there and then this is going on here and let's try this it's gonna be very dry so dry with sauce, that'd be so much nicer. But without sauce, it's so dry. Like, it's literally making my throat tickle. It's nice, though. I mean, it's literally just chicken and bread. But it would be a lot nicer with sauce. I'd get this again, to be honest. Here is my milkshake. And then I've got my large chips here. And I have got to dip in my chips into the milkshake. I have had this before, to be fair. I don't mind it. Mm. Chips are cold already, though. So it's not that nice. When the chips are boiling hot, I really like it. I know this is meant to be a proper weird meal. But I actually really enjoy it. Especially this. And the amount of cheese on it just makes me very happy. Josh, thank you very much for choosing me a very weird McDonald's order. I've I really enjoyed it and I'm not gonna lie I probably will end up getting that double cheeseburger without the bun and everything else again and I also would make a chicken nugget burger I feel like that could be really good did you see that? Where on earth did that come from? That's so weird. And then I also did get another thing from McDonald's. So I asked both Livy and Evie and they actually both said a wrap. So I got the spicy veggie one. However, I'm really not hungry enough to eat this. So I'm going to eat it cold in a little while. But I did get a wrap. So that is my entire McDonald's order complete. Thank you so much guys for choosing me McDonald's. Especially the weird order. I absolutely loved it. And now I have one more meal tomorrow morning, which is breakfast. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is the next morning. I have fake tan last night i had a bit of a pamper night i still haven't washed my hair so please ignore my hair it's very greasy i need to wash that but i have got a breakfast here this morning that miss eleanor neal has chosen for me and it smells incredible i've never ordered from this place before it is called hampton and voir and she told me exactly what to get so a lot of people kind of gave me free reign but she told me the exact order she told me to get an acai bowl but they didn't have any acai bowls so i actually got a granola bowl which is kind of basically the same thing then she also told me to get a solero smoothie which smells incredible and an iced rose vanilla latte here is the box this has got the granola pot in it again don't really know why they didn't have acai but 
It smells incredible, whatever it is. Honey would be so good on this. I might grab some honey from the kitchen because honey and granola is so nice. Tastes very healthy compared to what I've been eating last night and all day yesterday. And we've got two drinks. I'm going to try the Solero smoothie first. I like the cups. They're really cute. Not gonna lie, Soleros aren't really my favourite ice lolly or like ice cream, so I don't really know what's meant to be in it. Mango, pineapple, passion fruit and coconut milk. And then I've got my iced rose vanilla latte. I do love a vanilla latte, I'm not gonna lie. The rose is so overpowering. Sounds nice when you think like, oh rose, that'd be lovely. But that's too much. I much prefer it just vanilla. Like when I order at Starbucks, I get like three pumps of vanilla. No, if I drink that, I'm going to get a headache. I'm going to give that to Freya. Thank you very much, Eleanor. I am now going to sit and I'm going to have my granola box and I'm going to give the latte to Freya and I'm going to have the smoothie. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching YouTubers control why I eat for the last 24 hours. Thank you so much to all of the YouTubers involved. I have loved eating your food choices. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a huge thumbs thumbs up let's see if we can smash 20,000 thumbs up on this video and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new one Mwah. bye